hey guys welcome back on my youtube channel and guys this is the very first video of our swift series so basically guys in this series we gonna learn about swift in which i will teach you some basic concepts of swift and after the completion of this swift series we gonna move on the ios development in which i will tell you from the basic to advanced how can you create your own app and any kind of app right so guys uh, before moving on the ios development we need to have a strong good knowledge of swift so guys without wasting of time let's go further so guys this is the day one of swift in which i am gonna tell you some history and features of swift language so guys this is a programming language means swift is a programming language and it was developed in 2014 by apple corporation it is more efficient because it is regularly updated with new features so guys there are lots of features are available of swift first one is open source guys this is a open source that's why it is a very popular language uh, for right now and guys in the market swift is growing very quickly and if you want to develop application for osx ios tv os and watch os apps then swift is a very preferred language it is a safe language obviously whenever our programmer is going to write the code they want to write the code in the safe manner so while writing the code if there is any error or any mistake then our compiler will tell so guys it is a safe language it is a type safe language guys if you are declaring a variable of type int you will not able to store any other kind of value like a string it is a very fast language guys uh, in the comparison of other languages they those are based on those are designed based on c c plus plus like java or any other languages so swift is a fast language next is expressive so in the swift you can design your expressions very easily there are some additional features of swift are there you can return multiple values and tuples from a function means you can return not only a single value you can return two or more values if you know the c language or any other languages we have seen how we can return multiple values with the help of array but there is a problem with array we can return only the similar kind of values but here in the swift you can return multiple kind of values even two different distinct values next is generics guys it provides the generics next is concise and fast iteration over a collection or range so guys you can iterate the collection or range very quickly guys it provides structs with support extensions and also it provides the facility to define the methods and protocols with the structs guys it provides functional programming patterns means whatever lambda expression you have seen in other languages those are also available in swift advanced control flow it's having advanced control flow and it's having a powerful error handling so guys this is for the this video i will see you in the next video thank you for watching this video stay tuned kindly like my video subscribe my channel and share my video thank you for watching have a good day